Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and welcome to another mega gadget collection. These are the videos that I produce every single week and I show you a really diverse range of technology and gadgets all in the one video. Now for those of you who are new to the mega gadget collection and watching for the very first time, please do check out the video description. In that video description there are shortcut links, you can click one of those shortcuts and watch the segment of the video just about the product that you're interested in. Obviously, I hope that you watch from the very beginning all the way through to the end and then click that like button. In the video description, you'll also find links to the manufacturer's websites and also links to where you can purchase the products as well. So, let's get things underway with the very first product and it's this one here. It looks like just a wallet or some sort of purse or some sort of carrying case when in fact it's the mini suit blue board. I'm going to show you what's inside. So we've got a magnetic latch on the front. Nice little closure there. And then as we open this up, you'll see what is essentially a full-size keyboard. This is pretty much the same size as my MacBook Air. And it's a chiclet style keyboard with some really nice shortcut keys running across the top. It connects via Bluetooth. And what you're going to use this with is something like an iPad. And we just sit the device in the back it's got a nice angle to stand up the device and then you can use this for your productivity work so maybe you're typing out emails uh, typing uh, notes into some sort of word processing app and it is a very very nice typing experience hardly any flex on the keys and just a really really nice product let me just take the ipad out because i want to give you a closer look at the product again so you can see here we've got shortcut keys across the top so we can do things like adjusting brightness, searching, uh, going into our photos, playing and pausing, turning volume up and down, etc. And then the rest of the keys are just a standard QWERTY keypad. We've also got controls up the top, top and some LED feedback about connectivity, battery life, etc. And of course that all important on off switch and a pairing switch as well. This is really nicely made. You can see this profile here, super thin. Now it's not like some of the keyboards where you snap your iPad into the top portion of the case, you're going to carry this separately, but it's so thin once it's closed up that I think you will forgive it that it's not like a, an iPad case. Because it's Bluetooth, you can actually get away with using this with other devices as well, it's not just iPad only. You can see on the side here also, you've got a micro USB port, that's for charging the internal battery. I really like this because it's very, very well made and suited to really good productivity whilst you're using it with your tablet device. A good, good product, the Mini Suit Blue Board, well worth checking out. So let's close that up. I'm gonna pop this back on the desk, out of the way. And the next product I wanna show you is for the iPhone 5 or the iPhone 5S. Now I've reviewed Tech 21 products many, many times. This is the case to this one. This is their new Impact Trio. It's got a hard shell exterior and a flexible TPE shell. And it also uses this D3O technology. And I've shown you this in videos before, but I'll give you a close up of that packaging. You can see inside the case, we've got the blue back into the case and then those sort of orange stripes. That is a flexible material called D3O. And what basically happens is that remains pliable so you can bend it until it meets some sort of impact. And then it goes rigid and protects the device that's encased with the D3O technology. So let's get the product packaging out of the way and I want to show you it on my iPhone. So this is my iPhone 5S and this is the case. Very, very nice. Let me just turn my device on so you can see it with all of the icons there. Look at that. Really, really cool case. So we've got this sort of hard shell interior and then the blue sections is this sort of silicon or, or sort of pliable material and then the D3O technology runs in strips across the back and sort of around the corners of the device. So we've got extra shock protection on the corners. We've got integrated buttons for sleeping and waking, integrated buttons there for the volume up and down. Of course, a little cutout there for the silencer switch, cutout on the back for the camera, and of course, a cutout across the bottom so you've got access to all your bits and pieces on the bottom of the device. The hard shell exterior is nice and glossy and it feels really, really nice in the hand. Very, very comfortable to hold. And it just looks the part. I love the sort of light blue accents against the, the white shell. 
It is available in other colors and I just really love it. I'm gonna give you one more look at this packaging. So it's the Impact Trio from Tech 21. And again, there will be a link in the video description to where you can actually see these online and you can see all the different uh, color options as well. So very, very good case. Very pleased with that actually. That's gonna stay on my iPhone 5 for a good while. Next up, what should we show you next? Well, it might look as though I haven't got much on the desk here behind me, and that's because one of the products I wanna show you is down here on the floor. And it's a product I've actually done a separate video about, but I get so many questions about my studio lighting that I wanted to share this with you again. So I'm gonna disappear and pick the product up, and here it is. I get so many questions about what lights I use for the studio, and this is the Interfit Super Cool Light 9. I'll show you the back of it in a minute, but you can see all of those bulbs there. So nine bulbs in total, 32 watts each, low energy bulbs, and they don't run hot either. They stay pretty cool in use. And if I show you around the back here, or, or side profile first, you can see I've got a handle that I can pick up the light with, and just underneath there, I'm not gonna let go, I've got to hold this with two hands, there's a mounting point where I can actually mount this on a lighting stand. Now I wanna show you the back. See the back there? You've got the power cord coming out of the back, and then we've got individual switches that, that actually control pairs of bulbs. So one of the switches is a master on off switch, another switch controls the center bulb only, and then the other switches control everything else in pairs. So you can actually turn these sort of bulbs off individually, and you can also put a big sort of soft box around this as well. It does actually come supplied with a soft box, and that helps you diffuse the light. So I'm gonna point this just off camera slightly, just so you get to see it come on and off. So I'm gonna turn the main switch on, and then let's just go for the center bulb by itself. And you can see already, just with the center bulb on, how much light that actually gives. Turn that off again. And now let's switch the other ones on. So now we've got another pair on, and another pair, and another pair, and another pair, and even though I'm not pointing it towards me, you can see that it's lit up the whole studio practically, and it's bouncing off the walls. Let me point it upwards. Bouncing off the ceiling there, bouncing off the wall behind me, and really lighting everything up absolutely brilliantly. Uh, it is just a fantastic lighting kit. Now I've got two of these. Let me just switch them all off. Oh, it's quite heavy. Here we go, let's lift it up again. I've got two of these and they sit on stands when I'm doing my videos and really light the studio up absolutely wonderfully. They are very, very good. They're quite expensive, but if you're looking for a really good lighting solution, check these out. This is the Interfit Super Cool Light 9. Now they do other ones in the range. They do like a Cool Light 6, I think it is. They do a 5 and a 4. And those numbers relate to how many bulbs are inside. So if you've got a smaller room where you don't need quite bright as lights as these, then you can buy the other options and they're cheaper in the range. So well worth checking these out. Right, let's put that down. That's my weightlifting done for the day. Whew. Well, next I'm gonna have a look at this because it looks like Mickey Mouse's ears. What is this? A very, very tiny and weird looking product. I'll give you a clue. Okay, I'll give you another clue, shall I? That should really tell you what this is. I'm gonna grab the product packaging, and basically, this is from a company called Vavood, and it's a smartphone wind meter. This is what it looks like, and it's accurate. It makes precise wind readings with a resolution of 0.1 milliseconds, or no, 0.1 meters a second, or miles a second, I'm not sure what that means. Uh, to 2 to 25 ms as well. Uh, coming soon, you'll be able to actually uh, look at your readings with GPS position and time. It's rugged, it's made of plastic, I suppose it's made of quite durable plastic. Uh, you'll also be able to see your measurement history very soon, and it's got customizable units. So, uh, ms, which is probably meters per second, uh, knots, kilometers per hour, and miles per hour as well. And there's two apps as well, two free apps that allow you to do your measurements. Now, it works with the iPhone 4, 4S, 5, iPad 2, 3, and 4, and the Mini, and the Samsung Galaxy S 2, 3, and 4. So there's an Android app or an iOS app 
available for this. And the reason, I'll just show you that packaging a little bit closer, this is what the sort of app looks like. Now the reason that this uh, has got a little tiny sort of bit that I'm holding on to is because if you're using this with your smartphone, although there's no direct sort of metal connection there, the idea is that you're gonna just hold it like this on your device, and then it's gonna uh, actually measure as it goes round. So very, very clever. It does actually make a connection inside the earphone socket, but the point I was trying to make is that it's not metal. It's not a metal connection. So very, very cool device, not for everyone, but for those of you interested in monitoring the weather, and I've had that Nitatmo weather station before, the urban weather station, and I didn't think I was gonna be interested in that, and that measured like temperature outdoors and indoors and humidity and things like that. And it is quite interesting, once you start measuring stuff, uh, you can really geek out on it. Uh, so very, very cool little product, well worth checking out. So this is the smartphone wind meter. So let me just pop that down. I'm not gonna put it back in there because it keeps falling out and I need to show you this product next anyway. Uh, this product is the NK Moss uh, car phone suction mount or smartphone holder. This is what the product packaging looks like. Really, really cool design packaging actually. And then round on the back, it shows you the actual product and it's made of metal or aluminium, uh, which is really nice. So it's an all metal construction and this is what it looks like very very cool design now the idea behind this is you've got a suction mount for your windscreen so you're going to stick this into your car you could use it indoors i've got a glossy kitchen so i could use it on my kitchen cabinets if i wanted to and the portion that you turn around is this bit here turn it the right way so so at the moment it's released so you stick it onto your surface and then you turn this round and this pulls the middle section of the suction cup in let me just show you a close-up of that so it pulls it in and gives you a really firm grip. I'll show you it in a moment, but I wanna show you the rest of the device first. And then this portion here actually rotates around. Now it's quite stiff. This is one of the negatives, I suppose. It has to be quite stiff in the movement with quite a lot of resistance because you don't want your device moving around too much. You don't want it going everywhere whilst you're driving. So this is quite sort of difficult to move but you can angle it up and down and you can obviously rotate it and then the gripper here comes with two different size pads that go on the back either a very slim line one or a slightly fatter one and then you push this button here to actually release the uh, sort of jaws and then you grip it back in on your device so if i grab my iphone let me just unlock this again and what you're going to do is place it into the jaws and then push it in and it grips it into place like so. So very, very nicely designed, and then you can release it very, very easily. Uh, these portions here, super soft rubber, so you're not gonna damage your device at all. Very, very cool. Now, I just wanna look at the packaging again because I've forgotten the measurements, and the jaws are just up to 84 millimeters wide. So at its widest sort of opening there between these two points is 84 millimeters. So if you've got a smartphone any bigger than that, it's not gonna fit, but that's pretty wide and it really does adjust, really fine adjustments as well. That's one of its claims actually, is it's very, very accurate and very fine adjustments when you're closing those jaws up. So this is it, well, I wanted to show you how hard it actually went onto a surface. So this is open at the moment, place it on the desk, I hope you can see this okay. Let's do it about there. And then you turn this around to actually lock it into position. I can't even turn that the whole way round, but that is going nowhere. I could practically lift up the whole desk with the amount of suction on that suction cup. That is absolutely brilliant. So this is the NK Moss uh, Ultima and it is very, very strong indeed. I absolutely love it. And I like the amount of uh, detail that's gone into the actual design and the fact that it's all metal as well. So brilliant, brilliant product. So next up, let's move on to the next product, shall we? We have got something really cool here, very, very compact. Uh, it's cool for one reason and one reason only before I tell you what it is, and that is the color. 
not really it's, it's, it's much better than just the color but i love orange and this matches my jumper matches my shells behind so i love the black and orange orange colorway on this particular product this is the product packaging so it's the eco rocks bluetooth speaker and it has got music and smartphone controls on it and it is waterproof it floats it's shock resistant it's a speaker phone it's mountable and it connects via Bluetooth. And some of the specifications here, six watt stereo speaker, 10 hour lithium ion battery. Uh, it's got an auxiliary in jack and it's IPX7 waterproof. So very, very rugged speaker. And this is what it looks like. Look at that. We've got some really nice design styling on here and super, super rugged design. I just love it, I really do. It is fantastic. Now, let me just show you around the device. So let's start off on the, probably the most boring bit, but a useful feature nonetheless, is it's got a little mini tripod mount on the bottom here. So you could mount this onto a tripod or some sort of stand, um, or you could, maybe if you're putting it in maybe an outdoor area, you could actually mount it up higher on a little sort of bracket. So very, very cool that they've thought of that and given you a little tripod sort of mount. And then we've got a flap on the back which reveals the three and a half millimeter input jack and also the charging socket, which is micro USB. And then this flap seals these closed. So it keeps those sort of nice and watertight. Now the reason it's got three and a half millimeter audio input or auxiliary input is if you haven't got a Bluetooth device, you can still connect it in and enjoy your music from that device. And then across the front here, we've got uh, some battery, Bluetooth and power LEDs just here and these light up to give you some feedback about the unit and then on the top we've got some buttons and these are like rubberized buttons i like these let me just right reason i like them is because for once they're actually clicky so you know when you've actually pressed them sometimes with these touch sensitive buttons which some manufacturers do uh, to keep a device waterproof they sort of have this all sealed and you just touch the, the buttons you don't know when you've actually physically pressed one of the buttons so i love the fact that these actually click very very good indeed and we've got power on off button here we've got a bluetooth button just here we've got volume up and down we've got track controls as well and we've also got a speakerphone button as well for making and taking calls because yes if you're listening to music on your smartphone and a call comes in you can click that button it pauses the music and you can use this as a sort of speakerphone device as well. The actual audio quality, well, it's a very small device, as you can see, here's my iPhone, and the front face of it and the top is really not much bigger than the iPhone. And it's, it's very, very portable, but the actual music that it produces far outweighs its size. It does do quite loud when it comes to volume, so it does a good volume. Uh, the bass tone, yep, yeah, it's okay. It gets a little bit distorted at the highest volume, but nothing to really complain about. And the clarity of sort of the mid-tones and the trebles are all pretty good. It works very well indeed. It's not the best sound you're gonna get, but it's not a high-end audiophile speaker. This is meant for using by the poolside or on the beach or taking on holiday. Uh, if you lead an active lifestyle, taking it whilst you're out maybe hiking, etc. You want a bit of music midday while you're having your lunch, very, very good device. For somebody who leads an active lifestyle, this is fantastic. Very rugged and a good sound quality. So do check that out. That's the Eco Rocks Bluetooth speaker. Now we're on to the last product and you can see some headphones sitting up here. These are my Audio Technique headphones. One of my really favorite pair of headphones, the ACH 1000s and they are really, really nice. But it's not the headphones I wanna show you, it's the product they're actually on. And this is made by a company called Brainwaves, and it's the Peridot or Peridot uh, headphone stand. Let me take the headphones off, and I will show you the stand. This is what it looks like, very, very cool. So it's got the Brainwaves logo on the top there which looks quite big and quite harsh actually, so it's sort of in your face. This is made by Brainwaves, but once your headphones are on here, you can't really see the logo, so I think they've done that okay. It's all right the way they've done it. And it's, I thought it was etched in. In fact, I can't make my mind up whether it's a sticker or etched in. I'm pretty sure it's etched in to the Perspex. And this is made of really thick, heavy gauge Perspex. 
that's then bent into this really cool shape. Very, very cool indeed. And then you've got flat sort of areas on the bottom so it stands on the desk nicely. And it's quite large, but it does accommodate, I mean, these are really large headphones, and it does accommodate even the largest of headphones on there. There we go, that's what they look like actually on the stand. So if you've got a pair of headphones that you really enjoy, I mean, I've got loads of headphones because I love testing headphones and listening to music. Uh, so if you've got one pair of headphones or a couple, pick up a pair of these and you can display them and store them really safely and it really looks nice on the desk. A very, very nice uh, sort of option for storing and displaying your headphones. So this is the Brainwaves Perido or Peridot. Let me just pop that back up there. And it is very, very good. I'm really pleased with how that looks. I think it looks the part. Absolutely fantastic. So that's it for this mega gadget collection. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please, again, do check out the links in this video description. And also, if you can do me a big, big favor, please do subscribe to the channel because I produce a brand new tech video every single day. Please also hit like, yep, yeah, lots of pleases, but I really do appreciate it. It shows me that you're enjoying the videos and gives me some great feedback. Leave me some comments as well, and I will see you all in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.